guys, so I am home. I have got a bit of a book haul for you. I got some of these books yesterday when I went to a charity shop on my high street which sells books so I got them very cheap and then the rest of the books I got today when I went shopping and all of them I got quite cheap as well because I got them from the works, a discount bookstore and I also got one from a charity shop as well so let's get started. So I have nine books to show you. The first book that I have to show you is The Age of Miracles. This is by Karen Thompson Walker. This one is a hardback edition. It's a beautiful condition. I got this for £4 from the works, so really happy with this. I have been wanting to get this for a while. So basically this is about how time suddenly starts to get longer. So a 24 hour day becomes a 24 and 1 minute hour day and then 2 minutes and so on and the effect that the time stretching has on the world and how it slows down. So it sounds like a really interesting concept. I've seen quite a lot of other booktubers hauling this and reviewing this, so I know that it's meant to be pretty good and I'm excited to get onto this. Next I have book one in the Ship of Magic series, which is by Robin Hobb. I still haven't read any Robin Hobb, but I now have quite a lot of his books on my Kindle and now I've got this in paperback, so I definitely need to get started with these. I'm certain he's going to be really good because every book I see of his has 5 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and Amazon. So I'm really excited to get onto this. So reading through the blurb, it sounds like it's an epic fantasy. It's obviously very big. It's a good 800 pages. So this book will definitely be interesting when I get onto it. And this is only book one, so I'm sure that there are others, which means that the whole series is probably huge. But I love big books. I love reading big books. And apparently this is about Wizardwood. Wizardwood is a rare commodity and it's about how can you trade with the Wizardwood community when to get to where they live and where the Wizardwood is made. You can only get there if you have a Wizardwood boat. So it sounds like an interesting concept. It sounds like a really fun fantasy. I love fantasy, so definitely really excited for this. Next I have book one in the Heroes of Olympus series, The Lost Hero. This is by Rick Riordan. I know a lot of people have already read them. I've read the first three in the Percy Jackson series and I need to get onto the fourth and the fifth because I do have them. Um, I might be able to do that this Christmas because they don't take very long to read but these ones are bigger, definitely. So I know that this is kind of a continuation of the series but with a few new characters it's set a lot later on and I know that this is meant to be a really really good series and I really like the first series so I'm excited to get onto this. It's a good 500 odd pages so this one's a long one as well. Then these two are Scent of Magic and Touch of Power by Maria V. Snyder and they are in the Avery of Kazan series. I've heard that they're both really, really good. I haven't read any of Maria V. Snyder's work, but I know that as far as Goodreads and everything is concerned, she is a really good writer, and I do trust Goodreads, so yeah, I'm really excited to get onto these. I think they're quite short. One of them's 300 and one of them's 400 pages, so neither of them should take me too long, and hopefully I can get around to them sometime next year, maybe? <laughs> I don't know but I'm excited for whenever I do get onto them. Next I have Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. This is the second one in the Discovery of Witches series. I have got the first one, I haven't read it, but I really want to. These are adult fantasy fictions, and I know that they're meant to be really good, and a lot of people have said that they're really interesting. So I definitely want to get started with this as soon as I possibly can. I think they're the covers, I don't know if this is just the UK edition or if this is global, but I love the covers of these. This, it looks like satin, but it's actually sort of matte. It's embossed on the front, which I always love. And then it's got a little town down here, and then the other one doesn't really match at all, but is just as beautiful. So yeah, they're both really lovely. Next I have Ilium by Dan Simmons. This one is a bumper big book again. I have lots of giant books in this haul it seems. Um, this one I don't really know anything about. I got it because it's part of a three for five pound deal in the charity shop that I go to. 
and I just saw it and it looked like an interesting read. Apparently it's kind of taken inspiration from Homer's Iliad, if you know that book. I know that it's a classic and I want to read it, but I don't really know anything more than that about it. So I know that this is kind of a sci-fi take on that, and it's quite, it's meant to be a really good read. Peter F. Hamilton, who I know writes a lot of sci-fi, has done a little quote on the back of this saying that he really enjoyed it and that it's really very believable. I really want to get around to this soon. I know I keep saying that for all of them, but oh my goodness, I've got too many books already. Why did I buy more? I don't know. Next, I was so happy when I found this in the charity shop. This is called Altered. Look at the spine. It is stunning. And the cover, I mean, I don't usually like covers with just a man's body, but the way that the branches overlap, I just think it's stunning. So this is Altered by Jennifer Rush, and this one, this is quite a short book, so I may actually be able to get around to this kind of soon. It sounds really interesting. I think it's to do with altering genetics and experiments and stuff like that, which I always find quite an interesting premise. And it's, it's just a beautiful cover, it really, really is. I've seen quite a lot of other people who have hauled this in their bookles, and I know that some people didn't like it but others did so I'm hoping I'll be in the second category and it's quite a short book and it only cost me about two pounds or something so I'm really excited to get onto this it's less than 300 pages and it just looks like a fun YA read um, I love fantasy but I do like throwing in a few YA's every now and then to just mix things up a bit so hopefully I can get around to this soon. And then the last one that I actually have is completely different to all of the others. Basically I went into a shop in town and this shop is a new shop from when I wasn't here before it suddenly appeared. It's a pop-up shop and it's actually an army shop so it's got a lot of stuff from the military, it's got a lot of stuff from the war eras and it's got a lot of really old battered poor books in there. And I went in to just have a look, I didn't really know what to expect, and I got talking to the guy in there, and he was really lovely, and he actually told me how to spot a first edition book, which was really lovely and really helpful, and as I was looking through all the books, um, I found this, which is a really old, tiny little book, and it's basically, it's called Surrey, I don't think you can see it, but it does say Surrey on there. Now Surrey is the county where I actually live, at home and I don't really know anything about the history of Surrey even though I've lived here all of my life so I really was interested in this it's got a lovely coat of arms on the front I don't know if that is actually Surrey's coat of arms or not um, but it's a lovely little cloth bound edition it's quite battered as I'm sure you can see it's been through the wars a bit but it is from 1910 this edition so it is quite old yeah I just thought it was a really cute little book and I felt like it needed a new home because it was so old and battered and yeah it's just a lovely little edition there were also quite a lot of penguin editions in there like pelican editions which were really lovely but they hadn't been priced up yet so I couldn't actually have a look at them and get them but I may go back and have a look because I do like the look of the penguin editions and they're really cute so maybe later on in December I'll go and have another look in there and see what has been put up but yeah this one I just fancied it I thought it was a lovely addition so yeah those are all of the books that I have got to show you guys so I hope you enjoyed it I hope that some of these books you've read if you have then you can let me know what you thought of them or let me know if you actually want to read any of them yourself and I'll definitely put up reviews of these books when I have finally read them all. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!